Not to start this video off depressing, but I just got gas in my van. I was three quarters of the way full, but I was in town. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get gas. And it was $50 to fill up that quarter of a tank. folks how are y'all today hopefully better than me so i'm currently embarking on a very slow venture out of southern arizona and i'm back to staying at my favorite place which is blm land not right now obviously right now i'm at my second favorite place which is uh grocery store parking lots grocery store parking lots are so fun to loiter at because first of all i go in there and buy my food and then i come out and i immediately have to eat something you know I am not one of those people that can go in the grocery store and wait till I get home. I have to at least have like a snack. Living in a van is actually perfect because as soon as I get in the van, I'm, I'm home. I have loitered at many, many, many grocery store parking lots. In fact, when I was living in my car in Oregon, I honestly should have been paying rent at Safeway because I stayed there so much. Back to the subject at hand. Staying at BLM land has become my favorite way of camping because you get to be at these beautiful wide open spaces and you get a lot of privacy, which I love. The only downside to that, of course, is that there are no bathrooms and no showers, obviously. But that's okay. When I first moved into my car, at the very beginning of my vehicle living journey, I was camping up the coast, the west coast. I was living on this beach in Northern California. And my wonderful, wonderful camp neighbors, it was this older couple living in a van, they taught me something very important. They taught me how to take a hobo shower. Well, looky there. We have a fellow loiterer. Hi, friend. went into Safeway and bought a water bottle even though I already had one made just so I could show you guys step by step how to make your own hobo shower. I needed you to see the part where you have to buy a water bottle if you don't have one because that's how much I love you guys. I really go the extra mile okay. Never say I don't do anything for you. Taking a hobo shower is really 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 simple. To me it's the easiest way to shower when you're on the road. You just get a plastic water bottle and then you poke some holes in the cap of it. I just used a thumbtack. And then, voila, you have a mini portable shower that you can basically use anywhere. Now it's best to go somewhere with privacy if you wanna use this, but who knows, maybe some of you are exhibitionists and you wanna be in public. I am not condoning anybody trying to shower in a Walmart parking lot, but if you do it, don't say that I told you so. Congratulations, we made it to the desert. This is the kind of place that is perfect for a shower. Nobody's around, nobody's gonna bother you. Nobody's gonna see your nagas when you have to wash them because they're really stinky. To make your shower extra luxurious, I would usually heat some water on my camp stove, but thankfully I'm in Arizona where it's super, super warm outside, so I do not need a warm shower. In fact, I'm actually looking forward to cold water on my body right now because I'm sweating my ass off. So all you gotta do is take all you have to do is take some water that you filled up anywhere there's free water, like Planet Fitness, see my previous video, and pour it into your shower. Y'all okay, pray that I don't spill this everywhere. That's windy. So then just screw the cap back on and let's test it before we use it. We have a shower! Before you start taking your clothes off, make sure that you have everything that you need. I brought a swimsuit because 
although I am out in the desert by myself, still if somebody drives by, a coyote wanders through the camp, you know, I don't want them to see everything. So I still am going to be showering with the bikini. Important to have a towel. You might be in the desert like me, but it's still nice to dry off sometimes. A change of clothes for after. Who remembers the tombstone video? Your soap. If you're going to be showering out in nature, please use biodegradable soap. And of course, I cannot live without this stuff. I can't live without lotion. I just can't do it. This is an essential for me. Once you got everything ready, shower all of your shower stuff. The last thing to do is just wash your stinky bits. I think it goes without saying, but I'm only going to be washing my body in this hobo shower because if you think I'm washing 22 inch weave with a water bottle, you're wrong. <laughs> Okay, I just hobo showered and as you can see, I got a very thorough shower and I still have what, like a fourth of my water left. So that was a good deal. Well, I did it. I'm not dirty anymore. Hobo showers are great if your setup is really minimal like mine and you don't have any type of shower system like a solar shower or running water in your vehicle. It's perfect for all budgets. This kind of shower has saved me so many times. Honestly, just from driving from Safeway to the desert out here. I was so sweaty. The AC in this old van doesn't really work that well. It's hot in Arizona. And to be able to get here and just rinse that sweat and like grime off my body, it feels like beyond refreshing. It's quick, it's easy, and it doesn't really cost anything. Real quick, I would like to shout out the beautiful van couple that showed me this way to shower in the first place. Their names were Maya and Roe. I met them when I was just starting my vehicle living journey. I was living in my car, camping up the coast of California. They happened to be camping with me on the beach or near me and they saw that I was lonely and cold and by myself. So they invited me to their van every night that I was there for warm tea and good company. And when I told them that I was gonna leave you know, this beautiful place and search for a city with a shower, they showed me that you can just do the water bottle hobo shower pretty much anywhere and they warmed water for me on their stove and it was just so sweet and I felt so much better I hadn't showered in like a week at that time so just thank you Maya and Rowie they're artists I'm actually gonna link their Instagram in the description because they create really cool projects and even though it's been two years I've never forgotten their kindness so go check them out now for a mini story time for the OG Alyssa Vanilla followers who remember when I used to go to the Redwoods literally every single chance I could get. This is the story of my first ever hobo shower and how it was completely and totally extremely anxiety inducing. It was the night that Maya and Roe showed me how to, to do the hobo shower. They made the shower for me and I didn't want to take the shower on the beach where we were. So I drove like up the street to a little bathroom area. It was an outdoor like beach bathroom with drains in the center of it. So I figured like it's a place where people rinse, but it was just a single person bathroom. There was one woman's bathroom and a man's bathroom. I obviously went in the woman's bathroom and I had anxiety that, you know, I was going to be in there showering, but somebody's going to be waiting outside. But I was like, that's probably in my head because every time I used that bathroom, I was the only person there. No one ever came to that bathroom. It was like in the middle of a field. Well, when I decided to take my hobo shower, I was completely, completely undressed. Um, I just washed my face like I was full of soap. I was just in the complete middle of my shower. Like there was no way I could really hurry at that point. And I heard banging on the door. And I was like, what the fuck? But you know, I could have been anybody in there. I could have been an old person who just takes a long time. I could have been somebody who was taking a really massive dump. I, there could have been a lot of reasons why I was stuck in there. So I was like, you know what? This person's gonna have to wait. There's two bathrooms, go in the other one. But this woman kept banging on the door. She seemed not sober, but she was saying stuff like, I don't wanna get demonetized, but lots of um, colorful language she was using to describe the person in the bathroom. This effing stupid slut, this effing stupid whore is taking forever in the mother effing bathroom, you effing dirty blah, 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 blah. Like this woman is going on a rampage 
against a random person it could have been like a child inside of there she had no idea i was in there showering completely naked like oh my gosh like she's going crazy and i decided right then and there that i wasn't gonna rush myself just because somebody's going crazy outside she could leave or she could go somewhere else and i could tell she had like a partner or something the guy telling her like babe just use the other bathroom she's the bathroom she was like no i'm gonna wait for this dirty stupid blah, blah, blah. i think she thought maybe that somebody was in there doing drugs or something because i think that that's common in that little small town small towns have tweakers right so i think she she thought that that's what it was i don't know she also didn't seem sober so i took my time and then when i finally got out i opened the door i looked right in her face and i said i'm not a dirty stupid slut i just had to shit and she just went and then she's and then it was really weird she started going damn oh my god girl you look so good you are so hot oh my gosh you look so good and then her her partner boyfriend whatever who's by their car he's like oh look now she's all embarrassed like and, and i think i even heard her say like she's drunk like now she's all embarrassed i literally like jog walked back to my car and just zoomed out of there went right back to my beach spot went right back to Maya and Rowie was like, I just had the worst experience. But you know what? I was clean and that's all that mattered. Talk about if the worst timing for somebody to be acting crazy while I was in the bathroom. Anyway, hopefully your hobo showers uh, aren't like that. That's why you come to a place like this, the vast desert. There's no drunk girls to bang on your door to tell you to get the F out of the bathroom. Anyway, that's how you take a shower super super simple let me know if you have any questions although i i i doubt it let me know if you try it or have done it or have methods of improvement but spoiler alert you can improve perfection that's it for you guys i will continue my slow descent out of arizona hopefully probably maybe we'll see it's actually really nice out here so why not just stay you know what's the rush i have all spring and summer except I'm already getting sweaty again and I just showered. So that's why I'll leave. I love you. Stay safe out there. And I will see you on the road, baby. Mwah. Bye, guys.